Q's blog and grill. So what do you need besides the, besides the passion? You need to, well, you need at least this realization. Some of these are like intellectual realizations now. So the emotional part is the passion, but now we come to the intellectual part. And I do not gag at the word, by the way. Uh, entrepreneurship belongs, for example, at universities and colleges because it is an intellectual endeavor. The most difficult thing you could do with your brain, no matter what, because you must juggle so much desperate, uh, uh, diverse information, and, and with sequence and timing, you've got to, it's like playing multi-dimensional chess. Right. Well, really and truly, they've got to under, well, first they've got to understand some intellectual endeavor, and then they have to understand what an innovation is about, that they are experiments, that they may fail, that you can do a well-designed experiment, which might fail, or a wretchedly designed experiment, which is doomed to fail and a total waste of time. That is a hugely interesting problem, and we need, we need entrepreneurs to understand that they now must think very carefully strategically and tactically about wish, what they wish to do. They wish to give birth to something new. That is a complex matter. Right. It, requires, it requires the practice of creativity. And I mean practice. Practice the way you practice golf or cooking or the violin. Right. Practice is difficult. Little kids are creative. I like little kids because their creativity is so raw and immediate then the school system suppresses it. And I have to deal with a 22-year-old in which there's, there's a flicker left there. And if I shout, yes, we may make it burst into flame, might be overstating, but at least go low into an ember. And that therefore means that when you have the passion, when you have the intellectual understanding of the difficulty of the task, then the other ingredient you must add is patience. Mm. Patience. Patience to wait for ideas to be formed. Patience to test ideas before you launch prematurely. Does this, Alan, not sound like a very Canadian approach? Not like California. Take action. What are we waiting for? Right. Run it up the flagpole and see who salutes. If I hear one more cliche about <laughs> enterprise, I'm going to throw up. Right. It is this, 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 it's almost anti-intellectual. Just try anything and right. see what happens. You can't just try anything. The only thing you can do a whole bunch of just try anything are usually trivial innovations. And you might occasionally be lucky. Mm -hmm. I would have thought we are trying to engage an intellectual endeavor that is not about luckiness. If you are determined to be successful by luck, I suggest you go to Casino Rama, for which your odds might be slightly better than being a wacko <laughs> entrepreneur doing all this goofy stuff. Right. And secondly, if you are patient, you tilt the odds in your favor. Unless, of course, you believe there is no way to alter the odds, and then you do 50 things very quickly, uh, anyway, I am not a fan of uh, the phrase that pops up from the valley from time to time. Fail often, fail fast. But <clears throat> they leave one thing out. Fail often, fail fast, die. Because that is what happens. Right. The idea is that you've got unlimited resources, that you can fail repeatedly. And if you're, if you're failing fast, it means how much thought did we put into the endeavor that which we are failing at? Not a lot, I would have thought. Right. I Neutral. feel better now. <laughs> Good. AQ's Blog and Grill.